7 Signs You Are Raising Your Spiritual Frequency Have you ever felt a sudden chill in the air or noticed a feather out of nowhere? It's as if the universe is whispering secrets to you. You might think it's just coincidence, but what if I told you that these signs are more than mere chance? They could be messages from the angels guiding your path. Imagine waking up in the middle of the night, feeling an overwhelming sense of peace, yet you're alone. Or catching a glimpse of sparkling lights in your periphery, only to turn and find nothing. These moments are not random, they're invitations to explore a deeper realm of existence. Have you ever wondered why certain thoughts pop into your mind just when you need them? What if those thoughts are actually nudges from your celestial guardians? The universe speaks in mysterious ways, and today, we're diving into the signs that angels are visiting you. But before we uncover these miraculous signs, take a moment to reflect. How often do you acknowledge the presence of unseen forces in your life? Are you ready to open your mind and heart to the extraordinary? Let's embark on this journey together and unlock the mysteries that lie just beyond our perception. 1. Sensations of heat or cold. You ever find yourself in a room that feels like it's suddenly turned into a sauna, only to have the windows wide open? Or maybe you've been outside on a chilly day and felt an inexplicable warmth wrap around you, almost like an embrace? I can't be the only one who thinks these moments might be more than just a quirky twist of nature. It's funny how our bodies react to these sudden temperature changes. They can feel so comforting or jarring, often leaving me scratching my head. But then, I remember the stories, those whispers of angelic presence that seem to dance around us in the most unexpected ways. I had one of those moments last summer while sitting on my porch, sipping a cold drink. Out of nowhere, I felt this wave of warmth wash over me, as if someone was standing right next to me. It wasn't just the sun beating down, it was something deeper, something that made my heart feel light and my worries fade momentarily. In that instant, I couldn't help but wonder if it was a sign. Angels, I've read, are said to communicate through these warm sensations, reminding us that we are never truly alone, even when it feels that way. On the flip side, there have been times when I've been snug in my bed, and a sudden chill would creep in, freezing me to the bone. In those moments, I've often thought about how many people might experience something similar and dismiss it as just a draft. But what if it's more? What if it's a gentle nudge from the universe, a reminder that something divine is watching over us? The chills can be unsettling, sure, but they can also be a beautiful reminder of the unseen forces around us. I remember a particularly tough day when I was feeling overwhelmed. I stepped outside, feeling the weight of the world on my shoulders. Suddenly, a gust of wind swept through, and with it came an overwhelming sense of warmth. It felt like a hand on my shoulder, saying, you got this. I think those sensations, whether hot or cold, are more than mere coincidences. They can be the universe's way of letting us know that we are supported, protected, and loved. It's intriguing to reflect on these sensations and how they connect us to something greater. They can be fleeting, like a whisper in the wind, yet so powerful that you can't help but take notice. Whether it's the warmth that comforts or the chill that awakens, there's a magic in those experiences that stirs something deep inside us. They remind us that we are part of a larger tapestry woven with threads of divine intervention. 2. Visual Signs Have you ever caught a glimpse of something out of the corner of your eye, only to turn and find nothing there? I've had my fair share of these moments, and they always leave me wondering. Sometimes, it's a flash of light or an orb that seems to dance just beyond my reach. It's as if the universe is trying to get my attention, and I can't help but feel that there's something angelic about these occurrences. It feels like a little nudge from above, an invitation to look beyond the ordinary. I recall one evening while I was out for a walk. The sun was setting, casting a beautiful orange glow over everything, but then I spotted a peculiar light flickering in the distance. It wasn't a star, it was too bright and too close. My heart raced as I squinted, trying to make sense of it. Was it just my imagination, or was there something more? I couldn't shake the feeling that this light was a sign, a gentle reminder that angels might be closer than I think. In my search for understanding, I've read about how these visual signs can manifest. 
Some people describe seeing orbs of light during moments of heightened emotion, and I've often wondered if they might be capturing the essence of those in the angelic realm. I've even come across stories of people who've experienced these phenomena during significant life events, almost as if the angels were celebrating or guiding them through transitions. It's fascinating to think about how these visual cues might be intertwined with our personal journeys. The connection between our emotions and these visual signs can be so profound. I remember a particularly tough week when I was feeling lost and unsure. One night, while stargazing, I caught sight of a shooting star. It felt like a direct message, as if the universe was telling me to hold on and keep dreaming. Those moments remind me that there's more at play, that we're being watched over and guided in ways we can't always see. It's easy to dismiss these visual signs as mere coincidence. But when they happen repeatedly, it's hard not to ponder their significance. Whether it's a fleeting light, an unexpected sparkle, or even a sense of familiarity with a particular sight, these experiences can stir something deep within us. They remind us that we're part of a larger story, filled with love and protection from the unseen. 3. Feelings of peace and comfort. You know those times when everything seems to be falling apart, yet you suddenly feel this overwhelming sense of calm wash over you? It's almost surreal, isn't it? I've had moments where I felt like I was on the brink of chaos, and then, out of nowhere, a wave of peace enveloped me like a warm blanket. It's as if the universe is gently cradling me, whispering that everything will be alright. I've come to believe that these feelings might be the subtle touch of angelic presence in our lives. There was one evening, in particular, that stands out in my memory. I was stressed about work and personal obligations, feeling like I was juggling too many balls at once. As I lay in bed, unable to sleep, a sense of tranquility began to settle over me. It felt like a soft voice in my mind saying, take a deep breath, you're not alone. That moment taught me the power of surrendering to the unknown, and how angels can manifest in our lives by providing that much-needed solace. What intrigues me the most about these feelings of peace is how they often arrive in our darkest hours. I've read countless stories of people who, in times of despair, suddenly experienced a profound sense of comfort. It's as if the angels come to our aid when we need them the most, reminding us that we are deserving of love and support. Those moments can be pivotal, shifting our perspectives and allowing us to see the light even in the shadows. I think it's essential to recognize these feelings as signals, rather than dismissing them as mere coincidence. They can come in different forms, a gentle nudge, a quiet thought, or even a spontaneous smile. I've found that when I'm open to receiving these messages, I'm more attuned to their presence. It's like tuning into a frequency that's always been there, waiting for us to listen. These feelings of peace and comfort resonate deeply within us, and they often leave a lasting impact. They remind us of our resilience and the power of connection, both with ourselves and with the divine. In those moments, we realize that we are never truly alone, there's always a guiding force, an angelic presence, ready to wrap us in love when we need it the most. 4. Unexplained Interruptions You know those moments when everything seems to be going wrong, and then out of nowhere, something happens that turns it all around? I've had my fair share of those experiences, and honestly, they leave me scratching my head. Just the other day, I was stuck in the middle of a project, feeling completely overwhelmed. I was about to give up when a friend I hadn't spoken to in ages just happened to call. Our conversation flowed effortlessly, and he ended up sharing advice that perfectly addressed my dilemma. It felt almost too perfect to be a coincidence. I've also noticed that during some of the most challenging times in my life, unexpected encounters have turned into lifelines. Like that one time when I was lost in a new city, feeling anxious and alone. I stopped to check my phone, and a stranger approached me, asking if I needed help. Not only did they show me the way, but they also shared a few local gems that made my day. Was it just chance? Or was it something more? Sometimes, it's the little things that catch my attention, like the way someone appears just when I need a friendly face. I've often wondered if these moments are nudges from a higher power, or perhaps a sign that angels are at work. I can't help but feel a sense of gratitude when these interruptions occur, as if the universe is looking out for me. It's comforting to believe that there's more to these events than mere chance. 
There are days when everything seems to align perfectly, like a cosmic puzzle snapping into place. I remember a particularly tough week when I felt completely defeated. I walked into a coffee shop, and the barista struck up a conversation about a book I had been meaning to read. That brief exchange lifted my spirits and reminded me of the beauty in human connection. Moments like these make me think that maybe, just maybe, there's something guiding us through life's chaos. In hindsight, I realize that these interruptions have become a sort of beacon of hope for me. They remind me that even in the darkest times, assistance can come from the most unexpected places. Whether it's through a kind stranger or a timely call, there's a sense of divine orchestration that reassures me I'm never truly alone. 5. Dreams and Visions Dreams have always fascinated me, especially those that feel more like messages than random images. I've had dreams that linger in my mind long after I've woken up, vivid and surreal, almost as if they were crafted just for me. One night, I dreamt of a warm light enveloping me, and I felt an overwhelming sense of love and support. It was so real that I woke up with tears in my eyes, feeling a connection to something greater. These dreams often seem to occur during pivotal moments in my life. I remember grappling with a decision about my career, I was torn between staying in a comfortable job or pursuing a passion that felt risky. That night, I dreamt of a figure bathed in light who encouraged me to follow my heart. The clarity I felt upon waking was undeniable, and it propelled me to take the leap I had been so afraid of. Visions can also strike at the most unexpected times, often providing insights that feel like they come from a higher source. I found myself daydreaming during mundane tasks and suddenly seeing a clearer picture of my aspirations. It's as if my mind opens up to possibilities that I hadn't considered before. I often wondered if these moments of clarity are influenced by angelic presence, guiding me toward the right path. Sometimes, it's not just the content of the dreams that fascinates me, but the emotions they evoke. I've woken from dreams that left me feeling buoyant, filled with hope and positivity. It's almost as if the angels are whispering affirmations in my ear while I sleep. Those feelings linger throughout my day, shaping my perspective and reminding me that love and support are always within reach. The more I reflect on these dreams and visions, the more I believe they hold a significance that transcends the ordinary. They remind me that, even when life feels overwhelming, there's a source of guidance available to me. Whether through dreams or sudden insights, I find comfort in the idea that angels might be sending me messages of love and encouragement, urging me to keep moving forward. 6. Repeated Numbers You know those moments when you glance at the clock and it reads 1111, and you can't help but feel a little tingle? It's as if the universe has conspired to grab your attention. I've had my fair share of encounters with repeated numbers, and it always leaves me pondering their significance. For instance, I started noticing the number 444 everywhere. On license plates, receipts, and even in my dreams. It was like this little nudge from the universe, reminding me that I wasn't alone. What struck me the most was how these sequences often appeared during pivotal moments in my life. I remember one particularly tough day when I felt overwhelmed by decisions. I stepped outside for some fresh air, and there it was, my neighbor's house number, 777. It felt like a wink from above, a gentle reminder that I was being watched over. It made me reflect on the idea that these numbers might be more than mere coincidences. Perhaps they are ways for angels to communicate, providing reassurance when we need it most. I started researching the meanings behind these numbers. Each sequence has its own interpretation, often tied to concepts like growth, protection, or spiritual awakening. The number 111, for instance, is associated with new beginnings and opportunities. It's fascinating how something as simple as a number can carry such weight. I began to see these digits not just as random occurrences but as messages, guiding me forward on my path. There were times when I would intentionally look for these numbers, almost hoping to catch a glimpse of that angelic communication. It's like a little game I play with myself. When I see them, I pause and reflect on what I was thinking or feeling at that moment. It adds a layer of meaning to my daily experiences. Suddenly, a mundane drive becomes a spiritual journey, all sparked by a glance at the odometer reading 222. Before I knew it, 
I was sharing my experiences with friends and family. To my surprise, many of them had similar stories. We'd laugh about how we would see the same numbers at random times, often when we needed a bit of encouragement. It's comforting to think that we're all connected in this way, perhaps even guided by unseen forces, nudging us along our paths with these little numerical reminders. 7. Heightened Intuition I've always considered myself somewhat intuitive, but there have been periods in my life when that intuition seemed to sharpen dramatically. It's as if a light switch was flipped, illuminating thoughts and feelings that I hadn't noticed before. I remember one day in particular when I was faced with a significant decision about my career. I was torn, and just as I was about to lose hope, I felt this sudden clarity wash over me. It was almost as if I could hear a whisper, guiding me toward the right choice. It was during these moments of heightened intuition that I began to feel a profound connection to something greater than myself. I started to trust those gut feelings more. They weren't just random thoughts, they felt significant, almost like divine guidance. It made me wonder if perhaps my angels were working overtime, helping me navigate through life's complexities. I'd close my eyes and ask for guidance, and somehow, the answers would come to me clearer than ever. I also noticed that my intuition wasn't just limited to big life decisions. It extended to everyday situations, like sensing when a friend needed support or knowing when to reach out to someone who seemed off. It was as if I was tuned into a frequency that allowed me to pick up on the emotions and needs of others around me. This newfound awareness made me feel more connected to my surroundings and the people in my life. Sometimes, I'd even test my intuition by following my instincts without overthinking. I'd find myself choosing a different route home or striking up a conversation with a stranger. More often than not, these small decisions led to meaningful encounters or unexpected opportunities. It was exhilarating to trust myself in this way, opening doors I never knew existed. What's fascinating is how this sense of intuition aligns with the idea of angelic influence. The more I embraced these feelings and acted on them, the more it seemed as though I was being guided. It reinforced the belief that we are never truly alone in our journeys. There's a comforting thought in knowing that if I tune in and listen closely, I might just catch a glimpse of those angelic whispers steering me in the right direction. As we wrap up our exploration of the seven signs that angels have been visiting you, let me ask you, how does it feel to know that you're not alone? That divine beings are watching over you, guiding your path? Imagine the warmth of their presence whispering encouragement in your ear when life gets tough. Now, take a moment. Close your eyes and visualize the signs we've talked about. The feathers, the sudden chills, the unexpected moments of peace. They're not just coincidences, they're messages meant for you. What if you started paying even closer attention? What if you opened yourself up to receive even more guidance from the universe? I encourage you to keep a journal of these signs. Document your experiences and feelings. You might be surprised by how many angels are truly around you. And remember, the universe is always communicating with us. Are you ready to listen? As you go about your day, stay alert. What little miracles await you? What new signs might show up in your life? Stay curious, stay open, and let the magic of the universe unfold before your eyes. Because when you tune in, everything changes. Until next time, keep manifesting your dreams and embracing the divine guidance around you.